First year teacher Tyler Okerlund's classroom points to a proud past. He served in the Navy for four years, stationed in Japan. Back home, he signed up for the North Dakota National Guard, finished college, and went to work. After more than a dozen years in the private sector, his job was cut. Two friends encouraged him to substitute teach. I said, okay, I'll become a sub. And so as I was subbing, uh, I would probably say about 80% of my time was here at Valley Middle School where I got to know the students, the staff. And it became so clear that, you know, I enjoyed coming to here, uh, you know, every day to sub. And why don't I try to see what I can do to become a teacher? That's led Okerlin to the Transition to Teaching program which allows districts to hire non-traditional teachers in teacher shortage areas with industry and or military specific skills, all while he finishes his degree. I couldn't have made a better decision. I, I am truly honored and you know that, that I would even be you know, sitting down and giving an interview based upon my experiences, especially coming from the military into the teaching profession. And the way that we uh, handle things in the military obviously is, is a 180 difference compared to how you handle things in the classroom. Okerlin says his military experience, which emphasized teaching and training, is invaluable. He'd like to see each individual district across the state look at military experience to see if it could be considered in step placement. The Fargo Public Schools gives, uh, gives up to two years experience depending on the superintendent's um, decision. Now it could be one, could be two years, whatever. But depending on how much you actually relay in your, in your uh, resume and what you have, I feel is very important to, I'm not saying just, just because a veteran does this, you should give them this, no. I would say look at it, at least acknowledge it, put it in the, a possible new agreement. Yes, we're gonna look at veterans. I know I'm not the only veteran in the state of North Dakota that's teaching. In fact, Okerlund believes it's a pathway more veterans should follow. Well, there are a lot of great military veterans out there that may not be looking at becoming teachers, but some of that experience is very, is very valuable to bring into the classroom. Military experience has also opened doors for Okerlund to develop relationships with students who ask questions about his past. He says without that time serving our country, he wouldn't be where he is today. At Valley Middle School in Grand Forks, Tom Gerhardt, North Dakota United Communications.